Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your HD60 Elgato with your Nintendo Switch right over there. So it's actually pretty easy. I'm also gonna give you some little tips and software that you need to download. So let's start off with the top and the top is gonna be the output like you see on here. So the output has to be connected with your monitor or TV like you see over there. So it has to be connected with your monitor or TV. Go to the back of your monitor and just connect it with your HDMI. And if you think that you have maybe like, if you need like a lot of HDMI's, you don't actually need a lot of HDMI's even when you unbox the Elgato game capture card, you will even get one HDMI for free. So it's that easy. And once you connect this uh, output with your monitor, let's go to this side, the bottom. And I'm gonna wait one second. So here, like you see on here, you have the input and you also wanna connect this HDMI cable with your uh, game console itself. So on this side, so like you see there guys, I have it already connected with my HDMI alt. And the little USB-C right over here, you have to connect this one. Let me pull it out. So this is a USB-C and you have to connect it with your PC, uh, Windows or Mac. It could also be a um, laptop if you want to use that. It's pretty easy and it will be connected with a USB port. So once you set this up, let's activate our Nintendo Switch. And now let me first off go to input HDMI 2. So like you see, it's now connected. Now I'm gonna show you what to download and what you want to get to um, record it on. So let's go ahead. I am using this Windows PC right over here to record and I'm gonna show you what to download. So I also wanna say guys that uh, the software on the Mac and the MacBook is gonna be a little bit different between these windows and like I said, so let's go ahead and search up this one, Elgato. And just go to the Elgato website. So let's do that. So once you're on the Elgato website, you want to go to over here, downloads, and now choose between Mac or Windows. So for me, I am using a HDS Plus, so it's a Elgato HDS Plus, and this one doesn't work for me because I have a newer one, but if you have an older one, you could have to use, like, you. I think you must have to use this one, but this one doesn't work for me, so I have to stick with this one, 4K ca Capture Utility for Windows, and for the Mac, what you want to do is everything will be on this one game capture for mac so you cannot use another one or other uh, thing so you have to go with this one so guys how can you know if it works or not so like you see this one doesn't work for me once you open it up what you will see is a message that says this device not supported uh, game capture card HD is not supported and game capture card HD download 4k so it will give you a message like this and that means that it's it's not working for you on this application so just you have to download this one and now I'm gonna reopen my switch because it's automatically um, turned off And now, like you see, it should work. So you can just go ahead and play. So guys, like you see, there's like barely any latency. There's a little bit uh, latency, but you can 
I like not notice it at all actually even though if you're like playing games only maybe if you are like playing competitive games you will notice some difference so i would not suggest you guys to look at the recording screen uh, i i don't suggest you guys to do that but now let's go to here so i'm gonna show you some tips so here you have the library it wants you record something like on here Here's the record button and once you like record you can also just add your mic into it like i have a blue yeti mic over here but now it's connected with my mac so you can just go ahead and stop the recording go to library and here you find your games so what you also can do is you can go to settings and on settings you can change some stuff like i will suggest you guys it's just a tip you go to device go to hdmi color range and set this on shrink the reason why it's on default it's gonna be bypass same as inputs it's gonna give you more like a dead color but once you do shrink it will give you like a a live color it's a lot better so let's test it out so let's go back to the default one so it gives me more like a gray um weird color so i don't really like that let's go back to shrink and shrink looks a lot more live alive actually so it's a lot better to use that one so guys i will suggest you guys to go through your settings and check out which one you like which settings that you like so it's gonna be for everyone different but while recording i like to keep it on 1080p 60 fps you can also go up to uh, 4k 60 fps you can always choose but i will suggest you guys to use 1080p 60 Also, guys, if you wonder uh, where you can get the HD60S Plus from Elgato, just click on the description. I will leave a affiliate link in the description down below so you can check it out. Also, some other stuff that I use for my setup. And I just want to say, guys, that if you please could like and subscribe, that would I would appreciate it. And also, guys, if you can follow on Twitter and Instagram, you can find that in the description down below, the links to it. And thanks for watching, guys. And take care of yourself. Goodbye.